Welcome to another video from Guitar School Live. In this video, I'll show you how easy it is to control Amplitude 5 in Reaper using the stock FCB 1010 MIDI foot controller. Let's get started. To program the FCB 1010, we'll be using an editor since it is the easiest way to program the controller. There are many editors that are both free and for purchase. However, the editor I find the easiest to use is the FCB 1010 Manager by Mountain Utilities. You can find a link to this free editor in the description below. Installation is simple, so there is no need to cover it in this video. When you open the editor, you'll be presented with this screen. The first thing you want to do is make sure your MIDI device is connected to the editor. Click the Options button, then MIDI Devices. From here, choose your MIDI device. After that click View, then Presets. This is where you'll program the FCB 1010 to send MIDI messages. Now you are ready to start programming the controller. For this tutorial, we'll set up pedals 1 through 5 to send program changes to Amplitude and pedals 6 through 10 to toggle effects. The two expression pedals will control volume and wah. Let's begin setting up the editor. We'll start by setting up pedals 1 through 5 to send PC messages to Amplitude. In the presets pane, you'll highlight bank 0 preset 1 and drag down to 0 5. Click Enable, PC1. The PC1 column is now visible. Next click Increment, PC1. And enter 1 as the set number. When you click OK, you'll see the numbers change in numerical order from 1 through 5. You're now finished with setting up the editor to send preset change messages. Let's set up pedals 6 through 10 to toggle effects. In the presets pane, you'll highlight bank 0 preset 6 and drag down to 0 10. Click Enable. CNT1. Repeat for CNT2. The CNT1 and CNT2 columns are now visible. Next click Increment. Since we are entering CNT numbers, select CNT1, then Controller. Then set the controller number to the number 102. When you click OK, you'll see the numbers change in numerical order from 102 through 106. Repeat for CNT2. Select CNT2, then Controller. Then set the controller number to the number 102. When you click OK, you'll see the numbers change in numerical order from 102 through 106. Note, by default, the value of CNT2 should be 127. If not, go to Fix. CNT2 Value And enter 127. Now that the editor is set to send PC and CC messages, the last thing left to do is program the expression pedals. Select Bank 0 Pedal 1 and drag to 0 10. Click Enable. Expression A. Repeat for Pedal B. Next click Fix. Expression A. Controller and enter the number 7. Finally, click Fix. Expression B. Controller and enter the number 11. We are now finished with the editor. Let's save the data to the FCB 1010. Now that we have set up the FCB 1010 in the editor, 
we need to send the commands from the editor to the controller. In order to transmit the data, we must set up the FCB1010 to receive it. This is done in three easy steps. First turn the unit off, then hold the down button and turn it back on. Continue holding the down button until the green light on direct select is lit and then release. Next, press the down pedal once to select config. Finally, press the number 7 button to activate the receive mode. Now, you can click the green send data to the FCB1010 button on the editor. You will get a pop-up notification instructing you to do the three steps we just did. Simply click the OK button and the data will be sent to the controller. The last thing that needs to be done is to save it to the controller. If you do not do the step, the controller will not work. Simply hold the down button until the countdown finishes and the green light goes out. Now your FCB1010 is ready. Let's use it to control Amplitude. Before we begin, we must first set Reaper to respond to messages from the FCB1010. Go to Options, Preference, and select MIDI Devices. Choose your MIDI device and enable it. Click OK. Click OK. Click Apply and OK. Now we can begin setting up Reaper to respond to program change messages. Setting up Reaper to respond to program change messages can be done in three easy steps. 1. Add two tracks to Reaper and insert the Amplitude VST into the effects bin of track 1. 3. And re a control into the FX bin of track 2. 2. Select your MIDI device from the drop-down menu. Then drag the routing from track 2 to the routing icon on track 1 and arm track 2. 3. Go to the re a control setup pane and enable program change. Select load file and click OK for GM Rea Bank. Then select general MIDI from the drop down. Now, when you step on your MIDI foot controller, your presets will change. Toggling effects and amplitude with the FCB1010 is easy. Right click on an effects bypass button and select assign MIDI. Bypass. Learn bypass. And step on pedal 6. Step on the pedal 3 times to activate it. Repeat for the remaining pedals. Use the same procedure to set up the expression pedals. Before we end, if you would like to see more videos like this, hit like, then click the subscribe button and ring the bell so you will be notified when new content is released. From all of us at Guitar School Live, we would like to thank you for watching.